An international religious leader, philosopher, award-winning author, and highly respected moral voice, Rabbi Lord Jonathan Sachs is an intellectual giant who uses his remarkable communication skills to promote a more ethical and moral world. Knighted by Her Majesty the Queen in 2005 and made a life peer, he took his seat in the House of Lords in October 2009. He is a former chief rabbi in the UK and has held a number of professorships at academic institutions, presently at New York University. Rabbi Sachs is a frequent and sought-after contributor to radio, television, and the press globally and uses this podium to support the nation of Israel, the continuity of the Jewish people, and to counter extremism and fundamentalism. He has been awarded innumerable prizes, including the Canterbury Medal, the Bradley Prize, and the 2016 Templeton Prize in recognition of his exceptional contributions to affirming life's spiritual dimension. Rabbi Sachs is the author of over 30 books. His most recent work, Not in God's Name, Confronting Religious Violence, was awarded a 2015 National Jewish Book Award. Past works include The Great Partnership, God, Science, and the Search for Meaning. I wrote a book on the connection between science and religion because so many people think they're in conflict. So the title of the book expresses my view. We called it The Great Partnership. I see science and religion as a little like the left and right hemispheres of the human brain. And the way I sum it up is very simple. Science takes things apart to see how they work. Religion puts things together to see what they mean. The State of Israel and I share a birthday, so it's Israel's 70th, it's been my 70th, and uh, it's thrilling because Israel shows how you can be 70 years old, or in the case of the Jewish people, almost 4,000 years old, and stay young. And part of the reason it stays young is the Technion itself. Technion is a living example of tikkun olam, of mending a fractured world. And it does so by being at the very heart of Israel's high-tech economy, startup nation. Israel obeys this great command that Moses gave at the end of his life, uvocharta v'chaim, choose life. And every single technological development Israel has developed, whether it's in medical technology, nanotechnology, agricultural technology, information technology, has always been life-enhancing. Technion is the first Institute of Science and Technology to award me an honorary doctorate, and uh, not surprising because I'm pretty useless at both, although, of course, God gave us grandchildren to understand how to operate the technology. But really, Technion is Israel at its best, using technology to enhance life.